Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be giving myself my estrogen shot and just telling you a little bit about me. I honestly don't really remember to take my shot too often and I'm supposed to take it every Friday so I figured maybe recording myself taking it would really help with like the consistency of you know, actually putting the estrogen in my body. So when you're transitioning from male to female or female to male, if you do choose to take um, hormone replacement therapy, you end up having to basically replace the hormones that you were given at birth with something else, and in my case, it's estrogen. Um, this is what the estrogen actually looks like. It comes in a little vial, like this, and you have to draw it out of this vial into this baby, and shove it in your thigh. Okay, so I actually get this question a lot, and I figured I'd just in, like go ahead and address it. Growing up, did I know that I was trans or not? That is a great question. I don't think I actually knew whether or not I wanted to be a girl or wanted to be a boy, but I do have clear memories of like Halloweens coming around and me wanting to dress up as a girl or like me sneaking into my mom's closet putting on heels and at first I genuinely did just think that that was me being you know like a hyper feminine gay man and over time I realized that looking masculine wasn't enough for me and it was actually causing me extreme amounts of um, dysphoria and the only way I was able to fix that was by starting to take this shit. So the first step is actually taking this blue needle off and keeping it in the packaging and then replacing it with this pink needle. The pink needle is thicker. It is a thick mama. She is to not be fucked around with. She is what you go ahead and draw the estrogen out of the vi this thing with. You go ahead and put the air in the bottle, you flip it around, and then you like flick it until all the bubbles are like no longer there. Because I guess if you put bubbles in your bloodstream, you can like, I don't know. So now that all the bubbles are gone, I pretty much just flick it and wait for it to fill up. And then once it fills all the way up with zero bubbles, I switch it back to the blue nozzle because the blue needle is like way thinner. And if I were to shove this in me, I would probably have a like, I'd probably bleed everywhere. This is like a piercing needle. You would, like, pierce a belly button with this gauge. This is, like, n you couldn't pierce anything. The needle that I actually put inside me. Okay, so all of the uh, estradiol, which is estrogen, is filled up in here. I like to kind of push it forward now to make sure all the bubbles are gone. And I'm only supposed to be taking a half a milligram, so... Sometimes I give myself a little bit more because I'm a bad girl. Now, we put the cap back on this thick girl needle because we don't want to use her anymore because she'll literally probably, like, actually... Might make me bleed out if I use her, to be honest. We twist her off and then we throw her away and we replace her back with the blue needle that came with it. I don't know why they come with them on and why they just don't, like, come with them separately, but whatever, who cares? Then you just pump a little bit of it out so that you're not pumping any air into your um, bloodstream. And then once you're at this point, you pick a thigh. And I do mine intramuscularly, which means that I put it in the muscle of my thigh. Um, last week I did the right, which is the side that my tattoo's on. And it always hurts more because I'm shoving the needle through scar tissue, the tattoo. The left side is always easier for me because it doesn't hurt as much because there's no scar tissue. So... Let's do the left side, everyone. And we're done. Anyways, that's pretty much it. It's not that difficult, and at first it used to literally make me want to pass out, but now, um, it's so easy for me to do. It, it, yeah, it's become so mundane. I just like literally shove it in my thigh at this point. Um, but yeah, this pill, or you can take it in oral form as a pill, or you can take it as a shot. I just can never remember to do anything. So I take it as a shot once a week, but this shit makes me so emotional, especially because I just had my boobs done. So I haven't been able to take my hormones for like a month or so. And now that I'm back on them, Gosh, 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 I just feel like 
a three-year-old little girl crying about fucking everything and it's physically terrible. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what it was like because people are always asking me like how the shot works, if I administer it myself. And the answer is yes, as you just saw, I do. Um, clearly not often enough. But I do. And then throughout the week, I have to take a testosterone blocker, which is so annoying, and I always forget to take that too. But, yeah. That's what you have to do to be a tranny. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have the best holiday season possible. I will be posting another update here soon. Um, I'm going to see my doctor for my one-month post-op uh, post for my breast augmentation and my throat. I think everything's going well. I'm having a lot of pain in my left boob, so really hope he says that's normal, but... Besides that, everything is going good, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then. Bye, y'all.